Hello, have you ever heard of Instagram? Probably not. It's kind of an obscure app. I'm sure I'm the first person to tell you about it. I like to peruse Instagram every so often, looking at whatever they've got on there. A lot of times it's full of inept assholes with no talent, blatant scams with desperate wretched scammers. Yeah, Instagram is your basic social media app full of everything you hate and more. Today I'm going to be looking at the scammer side of Instagram, specifically the Forex scam. You can find Forex scam everywhere on Instagram. Oh, but Gary, where do we find such scams? I, I don't believe you, you f***ing liar, you f***ing piece of sh**. What? No, no, Forex scam is easy to find. Just search hashtag Forex on Instagram and you can find dozens, literally hundreds of posts from people looking to scam others of those sweet bitcoins. The wild Forex scammer is easy to come by. What seems to be common for them is that they use fake names, usually very generic names. They usually use profile pictures of women, since I guess they look the most innocent, and they try to allure their victims with promises of knowledge or secrets to success. For the average person my age, this may not seem convincing, but to your elderly grandmother, it's all the convincing, and that's just what they want. And that is just what I gave them. I'm green right. and retired. That's my that's my uh, life. That's your character. Yeah, green and retired. Yeah. I present to you the unexpecting old man who doesn't understand the internet. A little character I created on Instagram for the sole purpose of attracting the attention of these scammers. Retired green dad, 1945. Jeremy Hugh Orville III, retired and 80 years young, rest in peace his beautiful wife, born 1985, died 1997. With the profile set in motion, all that was left was to find someone willing to scam this wholesome and innocent old man. Hello Jessica Allen, by what some may consider pure chance I have happened upon your account. I, an avid reader and man of knowledge, would like to inquire more of whatever it is your service provides. In kind regards, Jeremy Hugh Orville III. Good day Mr. Orville. What our company offers is called investment pooling. Good day to you, Jessica Allen. I apologize if my responses are slow as I am figuring out this Instagram thing. In kind regards, Jeremy Hugh Orville the third. That's okay. Now, for example, if you invest four hundred fifty dollars, you will receive nine thousand dollars dollars back in just thirty minutes instantly. Holy mackerel, Jessica Allen! I am in awe at such a discovery that I am quite frankly flabbergasted. Please, tell me how I can achieve such a thing in kind regards Jeremy Hugh Orville III. Okay, do you have Cash App? Jessica Allen, unfortunately I do not trust very many apps, as I am afraid of surveillance information theft and being tricked into paying monthly fees. In kind regards, Jeremy Hugh Orville III. Okay, I understand. However, Cash App is a free Kosh platform, you can earn and it is what our company allows. Jessica Allen, while I do understand whatever it is you said, I have evidence that this Cash App will force me into monthly payments without my consent. Is there any other alternatives? In kind regards, Jeremy Hugh Orville the Third. Do you have a checkbook? I do in fact have a checkbook, Jessica Allen. In kind regards, JHO3. You can write a check for $5,500 and that will give you a payout of $15,000 each week. Gee willigers, that sounds like a dream come true. Pardon my French, Jessica Teresa Allen, but I nearly had a gosh darn heart attack at the sight of your text. I'm even old enough to admit I pissed absolutely soiled my undergarments. Who do I write this check out to? In kind regards, James you over the third. To the CEO, Sergio Cano. When you have written the check, send me a screenshot so I provide you with further instructions, okay? Unfortunately, this is all the time I have. Tomorrow, I will message you with the check written out. I can barely contain my joy and my heart almost stopped. The nurses said I should rest and are confiscating my phone and are revoking my meal privileges. We will speak tomorrow, Jessica Teresa Mary Allen. In the kindest regards. And when is you over the third?
Hello, Abrams Pedro. By what some may consider pure chance, I have happened upon your account. I, an avid reader and man of knowledge, would like to inquire more of whatever it is your service provides. In kind regards, Jeremy Hugh Orville III. Are you interested in Bitcoin investment? All I do is to help individuals like you manage their money to earn a bigger amount weekly. By golly, my heart is folly. That sounds spectacular. Consider me interested, Abrams. Abrams Pedro, I will tell you a secret. I converted all my savings into Mexican pesos. Abrams Gonzalo Pedro, how much will an investment of 900 pesos give me? It will earn you 10,000 pesos. That sounds stupendous, Abrams Gonzalo Pedro. Who do I send my pesos to? Send it to your investment account, not me. I think what he did here is he tried to make himself look more legit and trustworthy. Once your Bitcoin is ready, I will show you how to do that. My Bitcoin is ready, Abrams Gonzalo Horatio Pedro. Do not click on this link. It's a f scam. Sorry, Abrams Pedro. Due to my fear of constant government surveillance, I deleted your message out of pure terror that we were being surveyed by government officials. Please send it again. Click on that platform to create your investment account. Once you are done, notify me. Hello, sir. Sir, when are starting your investment? Hello, Abrams Pedro. I hope you have not forgotten about this old coot. I would like to invest now. Okay. Is your Bitcoin ready? Abraham Pedro. The coin I have is Iranian Real, and I have it in the plenty. Do you mean you don't Bitcoin wallet? Well, you see, Abrams Pedro. I can show you how to become a millionaire instantly like myself. Abrams Pedro, one US dollar is worth 42,000 Iranian real. Okay. I converted all my savings into Iranian real, Abrams Pedro, and you can too. This life-changing money brought my son into tears and gave my wife a heart attack, Abrams Pedro. I truly am blessed to have found Iranian real. Is your $300 ready now? Oh, it's ready. My 300 Iranian real is ready. You will convert your Iranian real to Bitcoin. Wait. How much is 300 Iranian? The blasted Google won't tell me, Abrams Pedro. It's showing bloody numbers. Convert to US dollar. Like this, Abrams Pedro? Mfi. Is not even up to a dollar! I told you 300! Uh, and I have 300 Iranian real, just like I showed you, Abrams Pedro. Or do you want all that I have, Abrams Pedro? I have 10,000 Iranian real. Will that work, Abrams Pedro? Let me convert. It's not even up to a dollar. You aren't ready. Abrams Pedro, I am confused as to what you mean. I have 10,000 Iranian real. 10,000 is more than one Abrams Pedro. Please help this old man figure this out, Abrams Pedro. Please, Abrams Pedro, please. It won't work. I don't understand why. The money is too small. Before I invest, could you possibly answer my questions? I have a fear of getting scammed and I wouldn't want that to happen. Number one, is it a scam? You know, get that easy yes or no answer just to be sure. Number two, will I make money back with my investment? Keeps them intrigued. Number three, what is your middle name? That is the most important question. Number four, what is the link so that I can begin my investment? He's gonna wanna answer that one a lot. One, you won't get scammed. Two, yes for sure, you will get your profit back. Three, Alexander. Five, you need to get your Bitcoin ready beforehand, crediting an investment account. Abrams Pedro, I am very pleased with you answering and assuring this old man. Many thanks and salutes to you, my friend. Also, I... What? What? A Abrams, you said five instead of four? I'm a little concerned with the validity now. 
Sorry, the typographical error is supposed to be four. Oh, that's quite alright, Abrams Pedro. I thought it was that no fangled auto generation artificial intellects. I believe I have my coins ready. 10,000 Iranian real. Mm, can I have a screenshot of your wallet? Yes, just hold on. Still figuring out the cellular smartphone. Please do, I'm waiting. <laughs> Is that your Bitcoin wallet? <laughs> that is my wallet my wife gave it to me on my 79th birthday last year, Abrams Pedro. Pure leather and very well designed. The hand in the photo is my son's. He helped me take that photograph with my cellular. Now I see you are not serious. Oh, I am serious, Abrams Pedro. I have my Iranian real prepared. You asked to see my wallet? Now you're confusing this old man. I said your Bitcoin wallet, not your leather wallet! I do not believe I own a Bitcoin wallet. Is it that little spangly thing that my son left last time he visited? Elaborate. What happened to your old Instagram account, hmm? Eh, my old Instagram account. Yeah, I don't know what he meant by this or why he got so paranoid suddenly. The only thing I did with the account I was using since the months prior was add two photos and unprivate it. He's a bit of a f***ing smooth brain though, so that's probably what confused him. Yes, this was not the account you used last year. My grandson set up this account. You'd have to ask him, Abrams Pedro. I haven't the slightest idea of this Instagram or how it works. You are here to have fun, not to invest. Abrams Pedro, I'm confused as to what you want me to do. Send a picture of yourself to me, holding your ear! Hold your nose and snap another one! Alright, Abrams Pedro, my wife is telling me you will use my photos to scam me, but I trust you. Why don't you snap your full face? I cannot get a good picture with one hand, but if you truly insist, Abrams Pedro, I did not send another one. I just want you to do a little research. Google on how to buy Bitcoin in your country. This is the website I found, Abrams Pedro. I haven't the slightest idea of what it means or what Bitcoin is. Just do the research on your mobile device. That's where I instructed you to go, so do it. <gasps> Abrams Pedro, it says my Bitcoin wallet may be compromised. How do I know you aren't attempting such a scam? Please do what I ask you, and leave the plenty talk! You stressing me? I already told you you won't get scammed! But Abrams Pedro, could I possibly ask for proof like you did for me? I just request that you send one picture of you holding your ear and I will comply completely. My wife is nagging me like a to not trust you, but I want to believe. I believe in you, Abrams Pedro, please. This is my last message to you. I don't like jokes. Bye. But Abrams Pedro, I did what you asked me! I don't understand why it is hard for you to send a picture of you holding your ear! I see this is all a scam. <laughs> Do you think I'm a fool? The pictures you sent was not yours! Abrams Pedro, what picture? Both! Abrams Pedro, I promise on my second wife I am not a scam like you. I will send a picture I just took now. You are a bunch of shitty! Abrams Pedro, that language is hurting me! It is making me sad! That's the video guys, what did we learn today? Probably nothing. Be sure to at the very least like this video if you enjoyed it because it helps out a lot. And yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,